Welcome back to another Lapis Guides Introduction to QGIS tutorial. In part three of module four, we're going to be learning how to take the satellite imagery that you downloaded and merged in the last two parts and turn it into a colored raster. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have our layers up here, uh, the, the three merged files. Right, we're going to go to raster, miscellaneous, build virtual raster. We're going to select our three files, but we want to make sure that we put them in the correct order. And how do we know what the correct order is? Well, band two, three, and four are spectrums on the electromagnetic spectrum uh, that are visible to us. Band two specifically is the blue spectrum. Band three is green. Band four is red. We don't use BGR for our coloring system. We use RGB. Right now, this is in BGR, and we want to just swap that around. So we'll just drag these into the right order. Click OK. All right, well, let's run that. So it might take a little bit of time to load into your, your work panel. But once it does, you can see that we've got a colored image. Right now, right away, you already have decided that this, yes, it's color, but it's a little bit off. And that's okay because we can go in and we can work with the colors. So you double click on your layer, right? It'll bring this up. And we want to open this up. And generally, I use this selection mean plus or minus a standard deviation. And, um, Let's just click apply and we'll see how that changed right away. You know, it's it's definitely got less contrast, but the color scheme looks a lot better. Now, further down, we have this whole color rendering section where we can play with the brightness, the saturation, the contrast. So I'm just going to up the contrast a little bit. Right, maybe increase saturation in some as well. And that looks a whole lot better. And I can zoom in on an area. If I know what things are supposed to look like, I can tailor my raster uh, color rendering section to fit what I know is true. Uh, and so, you know, you can zoom in on different sections of the city or wherever it is that you have chosen to work with. So this is how you create a virtual raster so that you can take your satellite images with the respective bands and put them in and create a colored satellite image. Right, you can save this. I would recommend doing so. Save this as um, as the file that you need it to be, because at this point it's only just a temporary file and will not be available for you in the future if you don't save it. I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next tutorial where we will learn how to clip this raster to get rid of any excess raster data that we don't need which will help us save space on our computer and with processing speeds.